Happy Halloween, y'all, because I'm wearing a wig and a wool cap, and my head itches. Oh, my boy, does it itch. Okay, um, what I watched this morning was, it's Halloween, so I watched one last horror film. I didn't get to very many horror films this uh, October, actually. But in sticking with October's theme, it was a silent Japanese horror film, A Page of Madness. Shout out to Tim Ryan at Rotten Tomatoes, who told me about this film like four years ago, and I finally watched it. Sorry, Tim. Took me a while. Um, the version that's on Filmstruck right now is this beautiful restoration from Flickr Alley featuring a new score by Alloy Orchestra, and it's gorgeous. Um, a few notes about this film. It was lost for several years until it was found in the storage unit of the director. Um, it is missing 30 minutes or three reels. Um, so the story is extra confusing because of that. Also, it has no inner titles because a very popular um, form of silent cinema in Japan was the Benshi uh, version, which was Benshi. These were these storytellers who would narrate um, the silent films. They, this is a true thing. I tried to watch one at Pordenone and I couldn't handle the narration. So I'm kind of glad that A Page of Madness does not have the narration. However, because it's, it was supposed to be told with this narration so you could follow it instead of intertitles and um, the fact that it's missing a half an hour, the film can be a bit confusing and it's hard to follow the plot. I actually had to kind of look it up to figure out what was happening. Essentially, a man is working as a janitor in an insane asylum because he drove his wife insane when he was a, a an awful, um, abusive sailor. This happened. Um, so you see him as he is doing his duties throughout the asylum and the various people who are, are um, uh, patients there. At one point, his daughter shows up and says that he's she's going to get married. However, this is causing him to have nightmares because he realizes that people still at this time and who they still kind of do today think that um madness is is uh inherited and so if they find out that his wife is in this asylum his daughter might not be able to get married so this is causing extra stress and then he starts having these crazy dreams about um manifesting his guilt basically eventually um it ends with him realizing that like he's probably fucked up everyone's life and in, in his um, orbit and he's going to try to make up for it by buying these happy masks and giving them to all of the um, inmates so that they can have one last happy smile on their faces um, as he you know descends down the same path as them it's it's very avant-garde the way it's made it's gorgeous it um it's just everything you're gonna love about sort of um surreal imagery you can see perhaps some um uh, german expressionism influences you can definitely see the modernism of the 20s and 30s being uh showing up in this in this film and the sort of uh what's the word i'm looking for the uh abandonment of realism there's no realism here this is definitely like poetic um expressionism and it's it's gorgeous and lovely and again this new score by alley orchestra is is real good um and so i recommend watching this version it's available on youtube but it's not a good uh, uh, restoration and um, this flicker alley restoration is gorgeous and honestly y'all support your restoration people they you know there's tons of films that are on youtube but they're not they're not restored they're terrible masters and and that's not how the filmmakers wanted you to watch their films you should watch these restorations. You should watch them with these great scores. And um, this is a page of madness. It's on Filmstruck right now. or on DVD from Flickr Alley. And I highly recommend watching it. Happy Halloween. Hopefully your head does not itch as much as mine does.